Yo, what's up everybody? We are back with another video. We're back in the shop. It's bright and early. I wanted to give you guys another little update this week of what we got going on. Yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I want to be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on the earth with my words. And on the body side of the shop, you can see the Nissan is assembled. Our part finally came. We threw the bumper on and our customer picked it up and she's really happy. So that one's gone. We also have our 2021 Subaru Crosstrek fully assembled. We got it detailed and this thing's ready to drop off at alignment this morning. It did get hit in the quarter panel section. It took out the wheel. This is a replacement wheel and we replaced the control arm as well. And whenever suspension and wheel components get damaged, um, insurance always pays for an alignment. I test drove it down the road. It drives really straight. The steering wheel's just slightly off center. Um, but it drives really good, so I'm not too worried about it, but we do need to get this thing off to a four-wheel alignment, make sure this thing's going to drive just as good as it did before it got in an accident. But anyways, guys, this thing couldn't have came out any better. You can see there, everything looks brand spanking new. She looks great with all her new claddings. Our blend looks good. Our color match looks good. We blend it up there. Everything looks really good. We also have our buddy Chad's Nissan 350Z uh, front bumper for his drift car. Um, we do sponsor his drift car. He's got an event next weekend and Mikey's gonna be there too, drifting his Mustang. But we do need to get this bumper prepped out and painted for him. He brought it to us with some repairs that he did himself. We went ahead and applied some high build primer. It is still kind of damaged here and there. It ain't gonna be perfect, but we do wanna get it kind of just looking good. We don't want his drift car out there looking like a piece of junk. So we are gonna go ahead and prep this out today and get this thing blasted silver, as well as some replacement over door skins for the 350Z. These are fiberglass. Um, he's already prepped these out for us, we're, so we're just gonna throw them in the booth, spray them silver and clear them out for them, and they should look pretty darn good. Um, nothing crazy inside the spray booth. As you can see, she's pretty much empty, but oh wait, there we go. You can see here we got tails. R32 Nissan Skyline GTR style spoiler here. He went ahead and prepped it out and uh, I went ahead and shot some primer on it yesterday when I was priming the bumper. There still needs to be some work done on this for sure. Um, I did notice when I was wiping it down, I did see some small fractures in this area right here and a small crack right here. Um, you really can't even really see them to the naked eye but I do not want them to come back and haunt us. So we are gonna go ahead and shave out this corner with a grinder. We'll go ahead and throw some new fiberglass reinforced filler on this corner. We'll block it out. And uh, there's also a few pinholes. Fiberglass parts always are full of pinholes. So we'll go ahead and uh, sand this thing out, inspect it really thoroughly, uh, fill some pinholes, and we'll go ahead and apply a few more coats of high build primer and get this thing paint ready. Also threw some primer on his door handles. Those look great. So those are ready for prep and paint. We are kind of just gonna keep working things to the point where we can have a parts batch and get things painted. And then we'll get them upstairs in storage. We have another Nissan Rogue coming in next week. And this bumper has been here for a while waiting for her car to get dropped off. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get that started next week. We'll have, go ahead and get that painted. But I wanted to give you guys an update on Tails R32 Skyline. And stay tuned guys, we are doing a whole video set on Tails R32 Skyline rebuild. And uh, it's gonna be awesome guys. It's gonna be something a little bit different on the channel. So we are looking forward to getting those videos. We do wanna fully film all the videos all the way through and edit them. And then we'll, once they're all finished we'll go ahead and drop them like once a week so stay tuned guys but we are going to give you guys sneak peeks along the way of course but yesterday we had some time and you can see here we finally got his hood cut so gtrs have a shorter hood in the front because they have a grill section here on the bumper and gtst models have the hood that goes all the way down to here and no grill section so um, he had to replace his front bumper anyway, and his hood was also rusted out um, on the bottom. And actually, once we cut it off, we realized that somebody had bonded a bunch of holes underneath. So it was a good thing. We kind of killed two birds with one stone, but uh, we got him the style he wants. It looks awesome, guys. Look at that. So much better. So everything's pretty much fitted. We do have to... Um, weld up a couple patches on the inside of the hood where we cut out um, the inner structure so it would clear the grill. 
So before we can disassemble everything and get everything repaired for paint, we do got to address that and get that so we cannot blow the front end apart yet. But you can see here, you can see the light through there, guys. That's all rust holes on the bottom side of his hood. This is the section that we cut off. But you can see, I don't know if you guys can see in there, see all that gray swiggly stuff? See all that right there? That is Bondo that they filled in on the top section of the hood at one point, the last time they painted it, and the Bondo was just falling through the holes and they just left it. Um, so, wow, um, yeah. So anyways, <laughs> super good idea that we went ahead and just cut that off and uh, it looks awesome. So you can see here, he's also working on stripping the roof. He finished stripping out the roof, the A-pillars and the sail panels and he's treated it with Osfo to kill the rust. He's gonna go ahead and sand over this completely, knock it down just like he did the deck lid. And you can also see here, we have the deck lid marked out so we can go ahead and cut these rust sections out. And then we'll go ahead and take these pieces and we'll trace them out on some new um, sheet metal. And we'll go ahead and cut out some patches. We'll clamp them in place and we'll go ahead and tack them up and get them welded in. And then we can start body working this deck lid and uh, get this thing moving. We will have to refit the GTR spoiler. So before the GTR spoiler gets prepped and painted, we do want to test fit and re-drill our holes. Because you can see here, um, our holes are going to be gone um, once we weld this up. We also have a small section on the driver door that is rotted out. And it's actually separated from the inner structure of the door frame uh, but no big deal we've already got that marked out we're just going to cut out a nice little section like that and we're actually going to use carmen's daughter's britney's old ford focus door that we have here that was bashed in in our scrap pile and uh, it has pretty much the exact same curvature here so we'll go ahead and take that piece off and we'll go ahead and bring it right over here we'll lay it right on top of this We'll mark it out and we'll cut a section off this Ford Focus door and then we'll directly put it on over here. We'll get it fitted, we'll clamp it in place, we'll weld it in so it'll be completely grafted in. So it'll be kind of like a Ford slash Nissan mix. But anyways guys, Taylor's got lots of time in the sanding this roof. The reason why we had to strip the roof and the trunk is because there was actually some surface rust underneath the OEM factory paint from Nissan. I've never seen this before. Absolutely insane. It was a big mess. And unfortunately it took a lot of time to strip that down, but I, well, we will not regret it. Cause the last thing we want to do is paint this car and have that rust come back a year or two, three years later to haunt us. So we got to do what we can. He's got it stripped all the way down into this filler that is on his over fenders here. So we're getting ready to kind of dig those out a little bit and re do that we got to kind of reanalyze how they did that do it better than they did when they previously installed these probably two decades ago um, other than that um, we've already sanded a spot on the doors the doors do not appear to have the surface rust that the rest of the car has been showing us so that is good and we're just crossing our fingers we have not dug into the hood yet um, we're hoping that the hood does not have the surface rust either I'm not trying to strip this car completely, um, but we do want to take this uh, top paint job off. I do not like anything about the top paint job. I do not like what they did. I do not want to paint any of our paint on top of this old paint job because if something fails underneath our paint, it, like I said, it will make us have to redo the entire car. So I want to get rid of these, this problem and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, strip what we can and get this thing moving but super pumped let us know down in the comments what you guys think of the new look in the front i know it's kind of hard to see right now because she's white and gray she's multiple colors right now but uh once we get this thing um blown apart we'll go ahead and get everything fixed and get this thing paint ready but um this type of stuff has to get ugly before it gets good guys um they all start out like this um, this car is going to look absolutely beautiful, especially once we get it painted and throw some new wheels on there. It's going to look amazing and uh, bring it back to its former glory, if not better. Um, we still got Ken's truck on the lift. I have not had any time to get back to it, 
but Mikey did come through the other night and he went ahead and finished burning in the exhaust. He's got it all welded up. I went ahead and prepped it. I wire brushed all the welds. I scotch sprayed the whole thing. I hung it in the spray booth and applied some high heat um, exhaust paint that should withhold the exhaust temperatures um, and really hide this thing. We weren't really trying to see it. The main goal with this thing was to get it up tight. You don't, he didn't really want to see his exhaust. So we'll go ahead and reinstall that thing. We do got to apply a little bit of header wrap on this side of the pipe so we can avoid any heat that gets to the starter because we did just put a brand new starter in there. And uh, yeah, there we are guys. So tomorrow Mikey's gonna come through and I think um, him and I together, we can knock out the last few little things on this truck and get Ken his truck back. He will be super happy to take it out and drive it with the new upgrades as well. And we're also really excited to hear this thing. I'm sure I'll film like a reel or something so I can post it to YouTube so you guys can hear it too. But anyways, I really appreciate all you guys watching the channel. We are getting ready to do some Hot Wheels hunting this weekend, so stay tuned for that. But I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. Um, this job was a rollover job. A rollover job is when it rolls over into the next week and it starts piling up because you got other jobs already scheduled coming in and it, they start becoming a headache. So super, super relieved to have this thing done and to be able to get this thing out to alignment so we can get it back to our customer first thing tomorrow. He's gonna be relieved. We gotta get him out of his rental and he's gonna be super happy. But also we get our space back in the shop. So this thing is finally leaving. And uh, that Nissan, same thing, was a rollover job because there was more damage. Um, they were in a rental and we had to wait on parts and just rolled over in the next week. So we are finally caught back up, officially going into the next week. So hopefully we can get that supercar project back in the shop. We'll keep moving on Tails R32 and things are going to be amazing, guys. Super relieved. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Get excited, guys. We're really having fun filming a new video set on this Tails R32 here. But anyways, a like, comment. If you guys haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one. I gotta get to work. Ooh, like LeBron, though, or like Monzo. Ooh, I'm a baller, yeah, shot caller, yeah. They love me, you can't touch me, nah, can't.